Righto, so today we're on day 4 of my free BSD challenge, and so far everything is going very well and I'm very much enjoying my experience with free BSD. So today I decided I'd do a little bit of a challenge and try to get some gaming done on free BSD. Now, without a doubt, free BSD is not a gaming operating system at all. However, I do occasionally like to do a little bit of gaming and I wanted to see how well free BSD could game. So I'm going to be taking a look at that right now on the Linux lounge. So the first thing I did was make sure that the proprietary NVIDIA driver was set up for my graphics card so I could have the best gaming experience possible. It was incredibly easy to get set up and GhostBSD actually has a wiki page on it. I'm not sure if it actually makes a difference for the kind of games I'm going to be trying today, but I installed it anyway. So with that said, let's get on with the games. So to start us off with, I'd just like to quickly talk about what your options are for getting games on FreeBSD. You can get open source games from a software repository, you can run games through Wine, you can use the Hummer Launcher, or you can try FreeBSD's Linux emulator to launch a Linux version of Steam on FreeBSD. Now first let's talk about running the Linux version of Steam on FreeBSD. There are two scripts that will set this up for you, but personally I couldn't get either one to work. I'm not entirely sure why, and apparently some people have actually had luck in getting it to work. However, I've heard a few people in the BSD community saying that perhaps you shouldn't use these scripts as it makes a little bit of a mess on your system. So it seems to me that if you want to go down this road, your mileage will very much vary. Although honestly, if you want to run Linux Steam games, I would probably just dual boot Linux with BSD and get the best of both worlds. The next thing I decided to try was open source games from the FreeBSD software repository. And I was amazed by just how many games do actually have builds for FreeBSD. In fact, I'm willing to bet that there are probably more available games in the FreeBSD software repository than most Linux distributions have. So after I'd looked at what games were available, I decided to play a little bit of Super Tux Car and it worked absolutely perfectly at the highest settings and is quite a fun game to pass the time with. Games like Mind Test or also work very well and can be a good alternative to proprietary games such as Minecraft. As well as that I was able to find a lot of sort of classic open source titles like Tux Racer, although they're no longer maintained and you might have some bugs with them if you try to run them these days. But despite that, they still seem to work very well. So all in all, if you're an open source gamer, FreeBSD is probably going to work very well for you. Next thing I tried out is running games through Wine, which is a program that works just as it does on Linux. I first tried an older game, Unreal Tournament, and it worked absolutely perfectly. And I think that's the main kind of game that's going to work very well on BSD. Older titles through Wine. However, I also tried playing a newer title, Hitman Absolution. Although it's several years old, it still looks quite nice. It's still fairly impressive and it's still a good example of a game that uses DirectX running on BSD. And you know what, I think you could absolutely play through an older AAA game on Wine on BSD. And finally I decided to use the Homer Games Launcher to do some gaming, which is a program that I actually really like and I made a dedicated video on. I went ahead and used Homer to install Steam through Wine and went ahead and downloaded some games. And I found that it was a little bit of a mixed bag. Games like Euro Truck Simulator 2 work perfectly and and are in the Homer compatibility list. However, what I found is that not all games that work perfectly in Wine on Linux necessarily work perfectly in BSD too. For example, a lot of games such as Sonic Mania and World of Goo require some additional tweaking under the Wine configuration tool to fix a few issues. For example, those two games both require being run with the Windows version set to XP, but after that they both work perfectly. However, some games don't work at all even though they do work on Linux. For for example, Rocket League does not work. As well as that, there isn't any support for DXVK, Vulkan or 64-bit programs in the Homer launcher, which means you're not going to be playing newer games. And apparently those things are actually a bit wonky and wine on BSD generally. However, apparently there is some work on getting those things working, and perhaps when they do, gaming on BSD will be better for it. Next, I'd just like to quickly talk about a caveat of BSD gaming I found in my testing. I tried to connect my PS4 control to my PC to play some games, and sadly I couldn't get it to work. I tried to install various packages and search online to see if there's any way to get it to work, but sadly I wasn't able to find anything, and I couldn't get the controller to work. Apparently people have had luck with getting other controllers to work, but I couldn't find anything about the PS4 one. I'm going to try and ask around, but honestly I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it to work. 
So just keep that in mind if you want to use a controller to game and want to game on BSD. It might not necessarily work. Finally, speaking of PS4 stuff, I want to talk about something quite interesting. What if I said that you could play games like this on BSD? Games like The Last of Us, God of War and more. Well technically you can, sort of. As it ends up, the PS4 actually runs a version of FreeBSD. Now, that kind of highlights one of the more controversial elements of the BSD license. Sony was able to silently take the BSD code and use it in their PS4 operating system with very few limitations thanks to the permissive nature of the BSD license, which is I guess something that some people will see as a plus and other people will see as a minus. So in conclusion, although gaming on BSD isn't great at the moment. I think if you lower your expectations somewhat, I think it absolutely can be done if all you want to do is a little bit of casual gaming. However, if you want to do some more serious gaming but like the idea of BSD, I'd probably recommend that you just go with Linux and dual boot BSD. Although, I suspect that gaming on FreeBSD will be better sometime in the future as there's nothing preventing BSD itself from being a gaming operating system. It supports the newest GPU drivers and graphics technologies and has all of the foundations in place to become a fantastic gaming operating system. So maybe given a few years, BSD might become more of a gaming operating system. But with that said, I definitely enjoyed trying all of this out and I hope you enjoyed watching me try all this out. But with that said, that's it for today's video and I will see you tomorrow where I'll be talking a little bit about the BSD community. Thanks for watching.